Whammy Grammy Tyler. Whammy Grammy Alex. How we doing, bud? Oh, not bad, you know. You? Enjoying a corona by the looks of things. Oh, enjoying a cold one. I mean, I don't know if you, you can probably see how shiny I am. Just uh, rushed home from out in them streets to, you know, bring it to the people. R wait, what? I was out in them streets, blipping up. Oh. So I had to rush back here to, you know, make the show for, uh, I don't know, a million fans? Did you have more success this week than last week? Yeah, yeah. So you got a clip. Body. So you're celebrating. Kicked out instantly and then did a little recon. Walked around the corner and then uh, looped back and got it. Can't wait for you to tell me what it is later. I don't think your brain has enough room for the steps. Honey, turn that shit down! What? What's that? I'm just joking. I love you. Uh, I don't know. It's some show. What show? Real loud. What show you think? Some bad. Could you yell and ask? I think it's that. Uh... It doesn't sound like you're so sure, so just yell and ask. I won't be able to hear it. She won't be able to hear me. There's an AC unit in there. It's going to ruin the whole show more than what's currently happening. I'm so curious now. It's called, it's like a shitty, like, lost type show. Oh, the... Manifest. There you go. Yeah, I've been watching it, of course. You've you done been watching it. The bits I catch, I, uh, it's all, not good. All you had to say was at lost. At acting. All, all you had to say was lost type show, and I knew it instantaneously exactly well, what in my brain, I was going to say black box, but I, I knew there was something. Yep, manifest. manifest. Great show. Great, great, great show. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have a small, I, I have That's a weird small blister on my finger. I don't know what it's oh, from. Oh, no. I'm a little distracted. No, sorry. Kickstarter for it? Nah. It'll be fine. From filming or? No, probably not. Don't know what it's from. That's why I'm so curious about playing with it at the moment, because I just discovered it. Any doctors out there listening? Tell us how blisters happen. Yeah, so... Um, possible cures. So there's been a bit of a heat wave here, and I just turned all the fans off for this, so we'll see how sweaty I get by the end. Yeah, it's not quite Vancouver's hot. It's like 35 here. What was it there? Like 1,000? Mm. It was like 40 the other day. Today is not bad. I think <laughs> it's like 27 or just 26. Oh, just trill. Yeah. It was like 30-some. Did you say trill twice but in it, the last but like, it's a, two minutes? It's a dry heat. Uh, I don't know. Sure. Yeah. I'm just trying to fill the air time, man. True. Yeah, I'm not... trying to keep up with the kids. True and real. Yeah, I think that's that's like a decade old, the trill, I'd say. No, no. I mean, you know, the middle of the country. It's just getting here now. Trill. We got a five-year delay. <laughs> um, have so so we we spoke a little bit about the Slurpee contest last week. Have you been keeping up with some of our friends' entries? I have caught some of them, and I yeah, I even was like, if I was hypothetically to do it, I even went to the park, and I was like, just riding by things. I was like, how long is like forty-five seconds or whatever? I was like, oh fuck. It's a while. Do you think that Eric? Do you think Eric's line is the best line done at the plaza? Ever? Yeah. I mean, I won a contest there one time, so it's probably second. To I feel mine. like I feel like maybe there was like a Jamie Mossman Chuck DC Nationals line that might have been better and in less tries. Uh, no, Eric's was pretty pretty fired up, as they say. I think. Wait, did I do that? Yeah, it was lit. The start and end, you know, like I. The kick from front 50 is gnarly, and I get from his perspective, he's like, well, I get to start with it. But, like, I I think that alling up the four that lat that late in the game would be so unfun. Yeah, that was my first impression, too. The first thing that came to mind was, like, your legs would be so fucking tired. Not to so mention, gassed. like... So you push up a ramp, and then you ollie up, and then you have to do a 360 flip down an eight stair. Yeah. Which seems, I don't know, pretty hard. And the that he mentioned that... Um, like I would have just assumed the 360 flip would have been first try because the whole line is so crazy, but look pretty bolty. He fell on a lot of them, which is kind of makes it more impressive that it took that long. Honestly, it's impressive that they have good enough friends that will film that shit. I couldn't ask one of my friends to point a phone at me at the park for, I don't know, two hours or whatever it takes. I mean, probably 10 minutes for them, but yeah. Did you see Mikey Ray's that he posted today? I did see Mikey Ray's. He had a front side 360 kick within it. Yeah, that was fucked. That was first try. The whole thing. Really? First, first try on camera, apparently. Just to be like, well, I better enter one of these. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. That's cute for him. Yeah. It was actually a pretty good line for him, too. Yeah, normally that guy fucking sucks at skating. Yeah. I disagree, but, you know, to each their own. 
I just don't think he's sick at skating. Yeah, what do you think he should do to improve his skills? Honestly, there's a lot of times where he's flipping it once, and I wouldn't mind if he flipped it twice. That's honestly my my biggest beef. Uh, sometimes he 180s in or out, where I wouldn't mind him going 360 in or out. <laughs> I'm just saying, just like, you go one more. Yeah, gotcha. Well, maybe he'll uh, take those pointers and maybe the the uh, Circle K contest next year, he'll have, be able to get a better run. Yep, Michael, I'm not trying to you know hurt your feelings. I'm just trying to push you. Yeah. Make you number one. Get you that, I don't know, year of free Slurpees or whatever you got. Yep. Cool. Well, yeah. There it is. Yep. How's your run coming? I've considered doing one. It's just been so hot that I am trying to limit uh, outdoors. That's smart. Just in general. So, um, not it's not, not going so good, I'd say. I need to get one of those, like drones from the internet that follows you because i i would just do one for fun but i actually can't bring myself to ask someone to film me you just do it with like jared and film each other are you kidding me he would never film me yeah and he wouldn't want to do it because i think you have to have a public instagram so anyways enough about the Seven Eleven contest yes. um there's a i got a bit of a an update on the the globe news that we were talking about because i know everyone's oh thank just god waiting for that um Mark Appiard still on. These this information is coming from a reputable source, I would say. Um, so Appiard still on, and Desenzo and David Gonzalez got kicked off. There you go. Well, I just saw a bunch of fire footage from you today, skate park, but still. Yeah. Wow, all their dogs. Mm -hmm. Kicking off a goddamn Sodi. Yeah. So it does sound like maybe a bit of a rebranding going on, but um, you know. Or Apple Yard's grandfathered in, though. I guess so. Huh. Yeah, that's I that. Thought, uh, uh, I was wondering, because that uh, Austin Gillette, eh, I was going to say Gillette, but Austin <laughs> Gillette and, and uh, Stefan thing, came, and Stefan, we we'll put that in quotes, yeah. came out today. And I was like, is this going to be a kind of a globey thing or something? But I think it was probably it was just, uh, get rid of all the sh clips and bands before the official globe announcement. Yeah, I assumed it was just like tacking Stefan on, or is he a part of that? Well, I don't think he's a part of that. I just okay. They, I, I don't know why. He yeah, most of, most of the blips didn't seem like Austin Gillette esque, like or worthy. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was good. I enjoyed it, but uh, it was just it was seemed fine. like getting rid of footage for some for no reason. Yeah, I just thought it was a little bit much to say and Stefan when it's like Austin Gillette part with two and a half. Stefan Janowski part or tricks in it? Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of it, it could have just been an Instagram, you know. Didn't have to be a whole thing. You know, I didn't even think we'd talk about it at all. I'm really actually guess. so sweaty already. Nice. Why don't you pop off that tarp? Is I don't really want to. Yeah, it's a sweater. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's not. I'm not trying a, to sweat. It's a that's your. It's a t-shirt. But uh. Oh, it's short, like a short sleeve sweater. I guess so. Yeah. Like a thinner, shorter sleeve. Like sweater. a long sleeve shirt with short sleeves. Yeah, which is like just like a thin sweater, short sleeves. Yeah, like a summer sweater. Did you watch um, that foundation video that came out? No, out I, of I didn't watch it. I already told you today I did watch it. You sent it to me. I said I'd watch it again. Okay, tell me about it then. If you watched it so carefully. I didn't say carefully. Uh, it was it was good to watch. I liked it. Yeah, what was your favorite thing you saw while you watched it? Um, Corey Glick did a nose grind through six I really liked. Yeah, that was good. I like that too. Thanks. What was your favorite thing about while watching it? Um, one thing I noticed, wasn't my favorite thing, but I think we'd actually, maybe we talked about this, in Deshaun Jordan's new part, he fakey flips like a gap over a fence, and the it, it's like two angles. Fakey tray. No, fakey flips over a gap over a fence, and he, it's it, it's two angles, but the first angle, both fisheye, it cuts in the middle, and it's like, fakey flip catch cut to a different fisheye angle. Do you remember that? Probably not. We didn't talk about that. Do you even watch a show? Okay. There was someone else. And then, so I just thought it was weird that um, in uh, Julian Lewis, the first guy, he backside flips the same thing, and they do the exact same thing with the two angles. First, the, the gap over fence or whatever. Yeah, yeah the exact same. And then the oh, exact, it was actually the same spot. Yeah, the exact same spot. The exact same two angles, 
exact same cut. That's weird. Like it's like yeah, maybe I mean, they I, were maybe they were skating. Do that. Maybe they were skating it together and and like they both landed it with the worst angle and then they realized it was worse, so they used like a run up close one from I don't know. It was just I thought it was so, strange. Like why wouldn't you use the one good yeah. I, I have seen that in parts before and I was like if you do it right, it can be kind of seamless until you like think about it. You're like, wait, that's fucking weird. We didn't see a whole trick from one angle. It's like some old like it, that, Kyle Peralta shit where a guy's board sliding, they switch angles, and he's board sliding, and they just cut away without him landing. No, no, no. It's not like that though. Like you see the whole trick in the second angle, but the hmm. two angles are close enough that it's just weird. And I thought it was weird in Deshaun's, and then it happens again with the same spot, with the same two angles, with the backside flip. All right, so I'm well. That is weird, though. Yeah. Must have been the same sash. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously Mike Sinclair hometown or whatever, so mm -hmm. all his homies. Another thing about those two videos that I thought was kind of interesting is that they weren't, like, official Thrasher releases. They were just put on to their own YouTubes. Those are interesting, yeah, because I, I somehow still peruse uh, Transworld site, which is still a thing somehow, when I'm, like, really desperate for content in the middle of the day. And I'll see things that I thought were like thrash releases that they're pumping, which might have been this actually. And I was like, what? And I just assume things are thrash releases. Yeah, it's weird because generally things are, but like it seems like maybe certain companies like Vans has always done their own releases too, um, like kind of maybe bigger companies. But uh, it seems like Tomietto is like, like I don't know. I feel like for, for a long time it needed to come out on Thrasher for people to. to see it you know and now they're starting to realize like we can just put up put it up on our own youtube bypass thrasher like i don't know if there's like a monetary issue or whatever but i would be very interested to know what the wheelings and dealings are of that mm -hmm. but it definitely like i don't think um i don't think that this foundation video was shared at all on thrasher because i didn't even notice it until um like today no it was oh was yeah, it? yeah no that's where i saw it first yeah weird but either way, it, it like it isn't hosted by Thrasher. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. It is interesting. Because I mean you put out a real video and if it's just like if you just put it on your own company YouTube, like and it's a pro good video, they're gonna post it anyway. Yeah, that's like won't like the the Toy Machine one, it got posted onto the Toy Machine YouTube and they had like no subscribers or anything before that. And it's just like that was like their way to like promote their new YouTube thing, I guess. And it seemed to have worked. They have like hundreds of thousands of views on that already. Is, is YouTube coming up again? You think? I wasn't headed there with that, but I mean, probably. Like, finally, though. Gonna... What? Huh? I said you you were a big YouTuber in your day. No. Uh, yeah. A big YouTuber in my day. Yeah, you were. Well, not like a YouTuber in the way of like. What's up, Instagram or YouTube fam, I guess, in that case. Just po um, I posted on YouTube. Yeah, that's what Instagram. I mean. You, you, like, early early on in YouTube, you were, you were producing a lot of content and you had a lot of traction. I wouldn't say I had a lot of traction, but I would say that I p did p put a lot of videos on YouTube, sure, yeah. How many videos did you put on YouTube? Uh, let's see. I'm Let's take a guess. I would say 342. That's your guess, and this is only yep. public videos. Yeah, I don't know what your private videos are up to because I've seen some public ones. So whatever you keep private must be pretty fucked. Um, I don't know how to see the number of uploads public, but private is. I also don't know how to see the number of videos. Just look at what your last year's montage was, and then add like ten. No, it's a lot more than that. Is it? Yeah. Whatever, who cares? I'm gonna keep poking around and seeing if it comes up, but um... It's this many. 10? No, no, I was I was doing this and then you're gonna put the number in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's how many. There you go. That's a lot. I know, I, can't, I couldn't believe it when I first saw that. Do I have any switch tricks in there? Uh, switch tray, I think? No, switch crook. Yeah, right. Switch oh, crook. you have a switch crook in there. Yes, yeah, you do. Right on, right arm. All right, moving on. Um, what do you think of the current political climate? I don't have a, I don't have an opinion. I don't know what that even means. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about Corey Glick's transition from like Hammer Guy to being like, oh wait, I can just kind of do like 
cool tricks and not have to kill myself. I also don't have an opinion on Corey Glick. I like it. Corey Glick, really? to me, has always just been the same as, like, Dakota Servold and uh, probably, like, 20 other guys, most of them on Foundation. All of them on Foundation. I feel like he it took a little detour, though. Like, you're right that everyone on Foundation in the last 10 years is the exact same person. But I think Corey Glick is, like, a little... Well, maybe not more pop. It's Dakota Servold. That's a lot of pop. A little more pop, a little more, like... He's like, you know, he did the Wally 270 nose blunt and shit. Like, he's, I, like, he's out as, there. As, as an example of my thoughts, if you had asked me who had done that Wally 270 nose blunt, I wouldn't be able to tell you that it was Corey Glick. You're like, Abdias Rivera. I would have just said maybe Dylan Whitkin or maybe fucking <laughs> that one guy that was on, like, Expedition. And, and for some reason, he's lumped in there, too. I don't know. I don't pay enough mm-hmm. attention to any of these people to, like, know... None of them, they're, like, there's too many people that are all kind of the same to me. And it's because I don't pay attention that um, is why that is. Oh, wow. All skaters are the same to you, eh? A lot of them. Yeah. There's just so too if much. I show you a picture of, you know, Lincoln Ueda, and then I show you a picture of that guy with no legs from Birdhouse, same guy. No, that's not quite where I was, where I, what I was thinking. But um, if... I always thought they had the same style. If you showed me a bunch of faces and made me connect names to them of of Corey Glick type people, I don't think I'd be able to. Okay, Actually, by the way, this is for sure next week segment. Do we do segments? A lineup of foundation people who Doyle. I think I think names. I could maybe do name name to face, but probably not trick to name. I think that that would be a challenge for me. Done deal. I'll set it up and okay. no no homework. No and, going and watching art bars or whatever. No, I, well, if we're going that far back, then I'm for sure getting a zero out of ten. But um, fine, no watching Cataclysmic Abyss. I'll. That's far enough back that that's fine. Um, but uh, speaking of you doing homework, I have a feeling this may not work out because the homework of you uploading your reviews still hasn't gotten done. Oh shit! So maybe on um, maybe. Maybe uh, what, by the time people are watching this, though, it will have gotten done. But just so I did try to, to look for it, and I realized that I instantly always delete all of uh, those project files. So I'll make it happen. Cool. Yeah. Just uh, cool, cool, cool. I've been I've been waiting to, waiting to see it go live, but uh, hasn't happened. I'll put it up after this. Done deal. Right. Classic. Right before a long weekend at uh, what time, time game or whatever. What, what time you got? I got 8.54. Yeah, I don't know. Central. My, my clock's, my watch is busted, so. Have you wound it lately? No, it uh, just, I don't know. No winder on it. It's crazy that you have corded headphones. And I know all, all of my AirPods dying so can you, can you aside. Try to, if you can convince me to get AirPods, I'll do it. But there's no purpose to it for me. Steez matches your matcha latte? Uh, not a matcha guy. Lattes, sure. That's half a point, sure. We need to get up to 100 for me to buy. Do you own sunglasses? No. Um, Have you ever you seen like... me wear sunglasses? Fuck no. <laughs> You've never even seen me wear a hat. Barely seen you wear a ginch. <laughs> do you ever, do you ever like, just like, you know, for some reason, some days dislike when you do a thing and your cord catches on something and just rips your face off your body that's never happened never once on a doorknob or a I'm not, I'm not wearing or headphones any often. sort of knob i'm not wearing these headphones often i wear these headphones when i talk to you and if i am walking somewhere outside that's further than like 15 minutes what if a gust of wind happens and it catches on a branch or a kite and it rips your ears off if i'm outside if i'm yeah. outside it's it's feathered through the shirt to the pocket Tethered through? Tethered through? Tethered. I said tethered. I, I think you said feathered. No, I have braces, man. You're making fun of me just because I have those goddamn braces. Yeah, I've done it before and I try so, to lay off. But so far, God. there's no reason for me to get AirPods. If you if you want me to get them so bad, then you can send me some, but not the ones that you have because I would prefer for them to last <laughs> longer than five minutes. You know, that's good for you. It gives you a reason to get off the call with me. Okay, sorry, my mom's had a text on the screen the whole time. Really not into it. 
Okay. Oh fuck! I hope she doesn't watch that. I just didn't. I didn't read it. I just didn't want to see it. It's probably great. Do you think she's gonna watch this? Hi, Tyler's no. mom. I don't think anyone watches this. Me neither. Especially not this episode. Except for Josh's mom, maybe. Josh's mom. Yeah, I think she was more of a fan of episode one, though, or two, or three, or whichever one. Oh, was how could she not be the pod race? On Come on, big episode one fan. Josh's mom. Pod race. Episode one. Star Wars. Let's come on. Oh, come on. I'm not a Star Wars fan. I'm as big of a Star Wars fan as I am of the Foundation team and AirPods. Okay, well, I'll send you my VHS copy of episode one that I packed up with my parents. My AirPods are last for 20 minutes. No, I think I'm good. And my that. VHS copy of... Uh, I'm good on all those. Car bars. Actually, yeah. those would be sick. I would. All right. Um, we got a lot of stuff we got to talk about, Alex. Mm -hmm. Let's get so to it just, then. Just get into it. Just tell us what it is. I don't know the I don't know the stuff that you have to talk about. Oh shit! Okay, I thought you had a, like a bunch of stuff that we need to talk about. I got through it all in the last thirty two episodes. I'm I'm, I'm dry shit. now. Oh fuck! Pour a little on it. Uh, you watched that Joey O'Brien part? I know you did. I did. Yeah, I watched it twice and enjoyed it. I think that uh, all of the stupid motherfuckers that have put out 10 minute long parts in the last few weeks that we've talked about, about them being too long, need to take some notes on how to make a nine minute long part worth watching. Yeah, first off, fill it with a thousand sick tricks. I would argue almost too many good tricks. Yeah. It, 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 buddy, spread it out, get some more sponsors. You have three fucking parts there, four by today's standards. Yeah, it was uh, overall just a great part. Yeah. and. I don't, a lot of people like to give it up to like East Coast skating just for being on the East Coast and just being like, he kind of crooked around at a ledge and it was crusty, but he did fucked up tricks on the East Coast. So favorite, so I, favorite I thing that. that you saw in that part? He had a good, it's like all the up and then front 5-0 backside flip. It was like a statue base, I think it was like a two stair up and then the top of the statue gap over two. I really enjoyed. Um... Yeah, he had a bunch of tricks on that, like, it's like a six-day rail, then, like, another set after mm -hmm. that were all really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know, just oh, fucking, just shred it overall. I like the, like, um, All the different tricks. On that rail, he does a switch back 5 -oh front 180. Mm-hmm. We've talked about the switch 5 -ohs on here before, and, uh... We have. That was one Seems that... Seems fucked. Yeah, he, he like, switch 5 -oh, switch back 5 -ohs a bigger rail before, and... Yeah. And his, his shoulders are so, like, opened up for it, that I was like, but is he gonna But the board isn't even fully salad, though. What do you mean? Oh, never mind, Karen. Um, anyways, I was I was thinking during the grind, because I think it's slow mode, I was like, is he going to 180 out? Because it was so, like, opened up. Um, and then he didn't, but then he does that other one shortly after, and I was like... Oh. Yeah, it's that one in that line. It's like that tenster one that, like, Sushi switch crook, and he switch back. Yeah, he switched back 50s in the line, and then switched back every yeah. single. Yeah, but yeah, I know what you mean. He's like, Sue Rome, and then... Yeah, that was sick. Yeah, and then what though? I liked it. You just said and then and then stopped. I was so curious. Oh, and one. And one? Like the shorts I'm wearing again every day? <laughs> Prove it. Damn. And can you turn, please? Oh, I can't hear you. I don't know if you can if you can hear me, but here's the and one logo. Or they are. It's official. just a small one. Yeah. There might be oh. Yeah, no, they don't look like. Oh yeah, not knockoffs. Yeah, so I can't hear you, but official. I hear you talking. No. Damn. And I can officially hear you again. This is the one time Damn. AirPods yeah, would have uh, would have would have come in handy. So AirPods get another off, bump. Get for showing off the end ones. Yeah, or what if what if there was another time where the camera was just pointing at your shorts and you were wearing a chicken wig and we had to go up. So it goes both ways. Yeah, things go both ways. In the show. Like an elevator, my friend. Yep. Would you say that those shorts get worn every single day of the week and every week of the month? Uh, no. They were they were in the closet for a long time, but they've they've made a big comeback this heat wave, I'd say. Yeah, they got more confidence to come out. This uh wave. yeah, this um work from home as well for sure. But um there was a I long time in my shorts. Yeah. Yeah. I had a pair for a second. I don't know what happened. Maybe These aren't Mitch. These aren't the best. They're uh, Walmart, so they're not like real official basketball apparel. They're more more so just for looks because they just look because they look so swag. Obviously, were you wearing them when you shot that half quarter? Mm. 
I don't think so. I don't wear these in public much, except I did wear them. Um, I feel like we might have talked about this before, maybe in a group chat or something about uh, there's a photo that Ty James shot of uh, Drew doing a backside flip in Tokyo. And I was filming Fisheye in the clip and these shorts are I think there. it was on the show early on. Yeah. It's been long enough now where it was a while ago. Yeah. And so that's last week splicing in that that old footage. It really did make it seem like we aged a lot. We're all friends here, man. Why are you being like this? Yeah, I think it's a lot of it is because my hair's grown, your hair's shrunk, and the facial hair is all different. <laughs> hair shrunk in. I pulled my beard so that this hair would come in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. Are you doing... So, Alex, are you doing beard until the braces come off? I don't know. I thought about it. But it's already so long. I, I've i also thought about it. I want it to happen. I don't know and how the long... Beard's might happen. I don't know how long the braces come off, even. Well, I mean, that's what makes it interesting. I guess so. I need something interesting to happen in the show for people to keep coming back, you know? Oh, honestly, like, all the Easter eggs we put in there for the money they can get doesn't seem to be enough. Yeah, I can't believe we've only given away, like, four and 450 bucks in Easter eggs out of the 10 Gs that we've had in the yeah. bank for the show. Well, 450 bucks and then another 500 product. Yeah. So if you're listening and you haven't taken home anything from this show, then you got to go back, rewatch every episode at least two, three times, find all the Easter eggs, get some bang. Five, six times, for sure. Use both your accounts to watch it and also like it and subscribe it. Yeah, do that stuff too. You won't get paid and you won't get anything out of it, but at least Tyler will go like this. No, I'm looking because Jimbo just texted me. Backside, what do you know is grind, fakey flip. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. But you know, okay, maybe uh, maybe that's something that you can talk to him about after this instead of giving the old one of these. I don't know. It's a skateboard show. It's about skateboarding. I thought it was topical. Okay. Yeah, it's topical. Yeah, it's tropical. Do you want to spend the rest of the episode in silence? I I don't really mind either way. I don't think anyone would enjoy watching it. It's good for the listeners. Yeah. Um, Alex, do you still like doing this? I still really enjoy it. Yeah, I don't mind it. <laughs> what? Yeah, there you go. Eh, I don't dislike it, if that's the question. Done deal. I wouldn't be doing this if I disliked it. But uh, I got nothing left here, by the way. There was like, because we did this one early this week, like nothing. Nothing at all. Tell me a secret that you haven't told anyone else ever. We'll ble We'll bleep it out. I, I, at one time, I've told people this, but one time it was my high school. Wait, wait it has to be something that's worth bleeping out, though. Wait, I was. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not really worth bleeping out. One time. Um... Cool. Oh, one time? That reminds me one time. That's like the time that... Oh, fuck off. It's, don't worry, it's muted. It's censored and muted and everything. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. But... All these stories have been censored and muted. No one's going to hear them. <laughs> they just get to see us oh, react they're... to telling the story. They're going to be so sex. This looks more interesting than the rest of the show. <laughs> yeah. Well, Tyler. I, I can't see time on this end, by the way, so I don't know. That's, that's time, basically. Was it? I don't know, 10 seconds if you have any last words. Last words, you know? I got two last tell words, you I'll tell him. you what. Tell Alex you love him, because you never know the last time you're going to get to FaceTime him. And I love I, you, Alex. I love you too, Tyler. Whammy Grammy. <laughs>